Carrie Ann Leckie Hepburn is really into the night sky. Actually, she's into the sky in general. She's a pilot, a weather forecaster, and an astrophotographer. So seeing a tiny observatory on her front lawn makes total sense. How it started was I would bring my telescope out onto the driveway every single clear night, and then I'd have to put everything back away, and it was so much work. So now with a sky shed at her disposal, Carrie Ann can step out on any clear night to capture the perfect shot. And her photos are literally out of this world. One of her personal favorites is M51 Whirlpool Galaxy, which is the culmination of getting out night after night, year after year, to photograph this galaxy far, far away. This favorite of Carrie Ann's, a mere 31 million light years away, has had its fair share of accolades. It ended up getting published as NASA Astronomy Picture of the Day in a uh, documentary called The Hunt for Planet B, which won an Emmy. So. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Pretty cool may be an understatement. I get Carrie Ann to show me around the pod, which includes her telescope. This uh, gives me a focal length of over a thousand millimeters, which is basically like over a thousand millimeter camera lens, which would be really huge if you were to buy a camera lens to equate to how much power you're getting from this. This is a CCD camera called an SBIG 8300. And it's a mono camera, so it takes pictures in black and white. But we have a filter wheel here um, with eight filters in there. So what's the biggest obstacle when it comes to night sky photography? The weather is surprisingly the biggest uh, problem, along with light pollution. But that's not the only issue. The sky shed isn't just home to Carrie Ann's equipment. Every year we have a new infestation of some kind of critter. We had like mice problems. And uh, what we did was we'd have to uh, seal the bottom part of the dome to make sure they're not getting in. We had snakes basically lived behind the computer because they wanted to keep themselves warm. And uh, we have spiders every single year. Is That's an ongoing problem. And I have arachnophobia, so it becomes an issue for me. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Let's get back to the photos. Carrie Ann has traveled to Spain, China, and across North America to find perfect clear skies, but her favorite spot is Chile. Specifically the Atacama Desert, because the sky is extremely dark there, uh, transparent um, atmosphere, and it's just, it's just amazing what you can see. But Carrie Ann doesn't have to travel far to capture galaxies that are an unfathomable distance. We ask her about the furthest she's managed to get. I'd have to say galaxy clusters. Uh, there's um, the Virgo galaxy cluster and there's the Hercules galaxy cluster that I've imaged and those galaxies are extremely far away, probably the furthest away. I had to Google those. They are 65 and 508 million light years away respectively and yet you'd never find anyone more down to earth than this mom of two. When we ask about advice for new astrophotographers, she offered this. Today we're so lucky that we have the internet. You can do so much research online. There are many forums out there and a lot of the things that you can uh, learn is, is basically at your fingertips and also YouTube. You can find Carrie Ann Leckie Hepburn on Instagram at weather and sky.